U.S. Let's bring in Republican Congressman Ted Yoho of Florida. He is a mem member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and chairman of its Asia and Pacific Subcommittee. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on. These are really worrisome times. I mean, especially when you look at these latest developments, these two rockets being launched and tested. What do you make of it? Well, I think that's, that's more justification for us passing these sanction bills and making them stronger on all countries involved, North Korea, Russia, and Iran. And to put the safeguards that it has to have congressional oversight to relax these on Russia. Um, it, are sanctions going to have a big impact at this point? I know you're trying to choke off the money that they would be using to fund these programs and in some cases fund terror. But it seems like we may be beyond that. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope we can get the sanctions in place, that we can get a diplomatic uh, settlement to this. If we continue down this path, as we've seen, uh, Iran has been emboldened by the JCPOA, the transfer of the $400 million. It's made them stronger, which has made Hezbollah stronger, which is funding terrorism and, and promoting terrorist groups. Uh, you see what's happened with North Korea. North Korea is trading with our, our uh, supposedly allies that are help, hopefully going to bring this to an end like China, but we've seen their, their trade with China is up over 300 uh, percent in the first quarter of this year. Uh, and so we've got to be able to put more sanctions on people uh, on these countries, and we need to have a world community come in and help us bring this to a resolve. We can't continue down this path, as you said. Yeah. There's a lot of hotbeds and a lot of fires going around the world now. Let, let's pull apart some of those things that you said with regard to North Korea, <clears throat> though, because they are still getting all kinds of assistance from China. Obviously, the president has tried to engage China to help curb what is going on in North Korea, but that's not happening. The Kim regime doesn't seem to respond to any sort of diplomacy. And in terms of sanctions, you know, he's fine with his people starving. So it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of progress on that front beyond no, something a lot not. more forceful. There's really not. And we've been down this road before. We saw what the, the Clinton administration did in the 90s. We saw what George Bush's administration did and even uh, President Obama's. And every time that we work out a negotiation with North Korea, before the ink's dry, they've already broken the agreement. And in the meantime, they've gotten closer to developing a, a full functioning ICBM. And the next step would be being able to carry a nuclear warhead. That's going to destabilize the world more. And so we have to come together and have ways to put this, uh, this regime un under control. And not that we want to control them. We just don't want the aggressive uh, nature that they're coming out with. And as you said, they've got people starving. They're using their own citizens as slaves that they farm out to other countries. And that money goes right back to the Kim regime, who turns around and uses that money to create that they sell to terrorist groups around the world that are fighting us, and, and it, it's lunacy. Yeah. You put sort of a fine point on the part of this bill that limits the president's power to ease these sanctions without your approval. Do you, I mean, do you really think that that's necessary? It feels like you're buying into the whole idea of the president having a special relationship with Russia when, in fact, you know, he's done everything to sort of drive down the price of oil, which hurts Russia. You know, there were the uh, Tomahawk missiles in Syria, which hurt Russia, all kinds of things. No, I think it's very important that we do that for a couple of reasons. One, if you look at what Russia did when they marched into Crimea and took it over, um, they, they used their, their energy policies, their uh, abundance of energy as a geopolitical tool to put pressure on people that they sell to. So that's a, a commerce issue that Congress does have the, the oversight of. And I think the 30-day period that the Congress has to weigh in, I think it's a safeguard uh, that will make those sanctions stronger, and we want to make sure we don't roll them back too quick. Congressman, thank you for coming on. We appreciate your time. Hey, I appreciate you having me on. Have a great